Hi friends, welcome to my another video. Today in this video, I will discuss about Diva regulation related to LV room and service electrical room. This video will be very important for those who are planning to write Diva exam or who are planning to start career in Dubai or in UAE. I already made two three videos related to Diva regulation which covers how to apply in the Diva exam and what are the eligibility criteria for the Diva exam. I also cover model questions for the Diva exam. So let's start this video. As per Diva regulation, when we are placing any LV panel, then the distance between the LV panel back wall and the LV room wall should be minimum 0.7 meter. In same way, the distance between the side wall of LV room and the side wall of the LV panel must be 0.75 meter. If the LV panel is less than 0.75 meter in the side walls and if the distance between the LV panel to the back side wall is less than 0.75 then definitely Diva will come and he will reject it. The third thing which we need to care that the LV panel front wall must be 150 minimum 150 meter away from the front side of the LV room. Okay, this should be minimum if the front side of the LV room panel and the LV room wall is more than 1.5 meter it is fine but minimum we have to maintain 1.5 meter. The LV room door width should be also 1.5 meter. If we are placing any panel adjacent to the LV panel it can be another LV panel and it can be the capacitor bank for the same LV panel. Then the minimum distance between the two panel must be maintained 0.10 meter that is 10 centimeter. In same way if we are placing LV panel or the capacitor bank the distance between the side wall to the panel and the side wall of electrical room must be maintained 0.75 meter. Hope you got this idea. If we are placing any other panel like SMDB or any ADS panel any other panel then we have to maintain a minimum of 0.7 meter distance between these two panels and we have to make sure that the panel door is not clashing with the other panel during its opening and closing. This we have to take care. We discuss this information when there is one LV panel inside the LV room. Now let us discuss when there is two LV panel inside one electrical room. Then as we discussed in the previous case, the back side wall of the panel and the back side of the electrical room wall must be 0.75 meter apart from each other for every panel. So we are placing two panel then the back side wall of the LV panel and back side wall of LV room must be apart from 0.75 meter from each other and the panel to panel distance must be maintained 0.5 meter if it is more it's okay but minimum we need to maintain 1.5 meter the minimum width required for the LV room is 1.5 meter if we are placing any other panel adjacent to the LV panel like the capacitor bank then the minimum distance maintained between the two panel must be 10 centimeter and if we are placing any other panel like SMDB, ATS panel, KWH metering, then we have to care that the panel door do not clash with the other panel during opening and closing of the panel door. So far we discuss about the two cases. When there is one LV panel inside one electrical room and when there is two LV panels inside the electrical room. But this information, this regulation is true when the ampere rating of the LV panel incomer is more than 400 ampere. Okay, suppose we have very small room and we need one MDB room, but the LV panel incomer rating is less than 400 ampere. Then the regulation will change. Diva, Diva is asking that when the your LV panel is having an incomer less than 400 ampere then you can place the LV panel directly on the wall and you should maintain the distance between the other panel minimum to be 10 centimeter. Might be you have question 
that suppose in my building there is 4 LV panel requirement then how we will place this LV panel inside the electrical room what is the regulation for Diva related to more than 2 LV panel we have to follow this situation means again we have to place one LV panel here and here and again the capacitor band in same manner we have to maintain the distance panel to panel 150 1.5 meter and from the back side of the panel to the LV room wall 0.75 meter and in same way we have to place the panel so even if you have 6 or 8 LV panel you can place in same manner okay by maintaining the minimum distance so far we discuss about the LV room now let us discuss about the electrical service room in this regulation Diva is highlighting how we have to place the KWH meter in the electrical service room in the electrical service room you will have SMDB and you will have also some service DB but here Diva is highlighting how to make the KWH meter array inside the electrical service room Diva state that the minimum distance from the finishing floor level to the KWH meter trunking should be 600 mm and the trunking to trunking distance where KWH meter will be placed the minimum distance required is 500 mm and the trunking weeds should be 100 mm okay the third thing which Diva is highlighting in this regulation that the maximum required array for the KWH meter should be 3 because if we will make the fourth row of the KWH meter then the person cannot read the KWH meter reading as it will be in the very height it will be out of reach from the normal person so Diva is stating that there is maximum 3 arrays required you can place many KWH meter here it's showing 3 but you can place 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 how much space you have in the electrical room in that way you can place the KWH meter horizontally but you cannot go for the fourth row as here showing 1, 2, 3 row you cannot go for the fourth row the other thing which Diva is highlighting that the minimum distance between the KWH meter to KW, other KWH meter center to center required is 300 mm here might be you have question that suppose you have 12 KWH meter in one row in each row there is 12 KWH meter then this 100 mm trunking will not be enough so we have to make 150 or 200 mm trunking in order to accommodate this all wires related to that row KWH meter but no we cannot do this one we have a trunking okay with the width 100 you can increase the height of the trunking from 100 to 150 or to 200 but you cannot increase the width of the trunking this you cannot increase you can increase the height of the trunking in order to accommodate the more cables inside the trunking but this side trunking width and height you can change as per your number of cables to accommodate i hope you find this video informative and you learn something new from this video this video will be very helpful for those who are going to appear in the diva exam because in diva exam two or three question must be from the electrical room or from the LV room sections. So I will wrap the video here itself. We will meet in any other video. Till then take care, keep learning and bye bye. Thank you so much.